Well, good morning. Um, it's now, uh, we're on a Saturday morning here in mid-April uh, in the UK. And uh, what I intend to show you this morning is uh, how I prepare to, uh, for the grow bag to receive a tomato grow pot, uh, which is what I grow, them in, uh, grow the tomato plants in. Uh, I find they're very helpful um, to give some even watering to the plants over the season and uh, to allow me to um, build up the, the, uh, the compost around the sort of lower four to five inches of the tomato stem in order to encourage uh, some of the stem roots to grow out from it. Therefore, um, give a, a greater root surface area for the take up of, of water and nutrients during uh, its growing period. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my, uh, my sharp uh, knife and I'm going to put a couple of slits in the bottom of the grow bag. Uh, this, I do this in order that the, uh, it can be difficult to regulate the watering in a grow bag. You can give it too much or you, uh, and thereby you have the roots sitting in water all the time, which is, uh, is just detrimental to them. Or you underwater. You may think that the surface, the, it's getting water, but the surface is looking wet, but inside it's dried out. And so consequently your tomato plants will suffer again. So by doing this, I can water as much as I like. And I know the water, excess water is going to go into the bed of uh, my greenhouse and any taproot that's going to be going down can go into the bed itself uh, and of course it means that I am by using a grow bag as well I'm not getting a build up of um, tomato pests uh, over the years that I've been doing uh, growing tomatoes in the in the greenhouse so it's just a couple of quick slits not right across the bottom, but two large ones, like so, and then another one, like so. We're cutting a, a chunk out, and then we're just turning it back over, and then just give it a fluff up, a bit like a pillow. in order to get it nice and even for the tomato plants uh, to, go, to go in. Okay, then I take one of my tomato grow pots and I take both of them in fact and I place them on top and I'm just looking to really I'll stand up and look over the top and I'll look to just get them evenly placed on the grow bags and then what I what I do after that is I just press them down onto the top of the grow bag and as you'll see at the bottom the serrated edges here and it digs into the grow bag so it leaves me a nice circle indentation in the grow bag that I can use my knife to go round and cut out and this will fit in perfectly then. As you'll see with the grow pot, it's got an inner chamber just here with holes, with holes just around the periphery of that inner chamber where you would pour your water, your water that's been mixed with some tomato nutrients and it'll allow it just then to seep in. Um, you're not going to worry about how much water goes in there because any excess water, like I said before, will then drain off through the slits in the bottom of the bag. And then the inner chamber here is built up and as I say we can actually then top up with compost to surround the stem of the tomato plant to encourage those stem roots. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Stanley knife now and I'll just start to cut a circle just inside 
where those indentations are. And there you go. And I'll just take my trowel and I'll just dig into it and fluff it up a bit more and make sure all that's okay. Then, before I put my tomato grow bag on, I'll take a tomato plant. And remember these tomato plants? If you looked at my video a morning in my greenhouse, a couple of weeks ago this was, uh, you saw me pricking these out into these pots. And you can see now that they've grown to about six, seven inches tall. And they're just right now for uh, planting out into the, uh, into, the, into the border of my greenhouse, into the grow bags. And you can see a nice little root system has started to develop there. I'll just tease it out a little bit from the bottom and the side, like so, so they don't uh, remain in that sort of rigid root ball. And then I'll just dig in to the surface with my hands of the grow bag, place the tomato plant in, firming down round the sides, and then there's your plant, that's done. I'm just going to do the second one over here, uh, grow pot over here. <laughs> you get yourself a nice sharp knife and a do-it-yourself type knife that you, you cut lino with and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's ideal for this job. Again, get a, a tomato grow pot. Not sorry, I'm going ahead of myself. Get a tomato plant. And then again, you can see we've got a nice root system there. Dig this around again, just to loosen up any clods that may there be there. Dig into it. And then just firm round, round the base, and that's fine. So that's the two tomato plants in place, as you can see. And then what I'll do now is take the tomato grow pot. I'll just make sure, sorry, I'll put my arm through. As you can see, I just put my arm through. I'll just take hold of the leaves of the plant just pull them together, then I'll work the uh, serrated edges of the grow pot around that hole, place it, pushing it into place, and there you've got a nice firm tomato grow pot ready to then uh, put some compost down here as the plant. I would leave it to grow for probably another four or five inches and then start to put some compost in the base there um, in order, again, to encourage those uh, roots to come out the stems. Um, I don't tend to use canes or anything like that. I have these strings suspended from the roof. I'll just show you, take them down a second. And what I will do as the plant starts to grow up, I'll twist these strings around the stem and that will hold the tomato but quite firmly, firm enough. I've always used these strings, they're, more, they're far better than using a cane in my opinion. Um, much more flexible. And that's it really. Um, we'll just carry on a second and do the, the second, put the second grow pot on. Again we put our hands down the centre, hold the leaves of the plant together to make sure they're not going to get snapped off. Find the circle, twist it round into the bag, and there you go. It's very straightforward. It doesn't matter. It's be, it doesn't matter that it's below the level of the top of the pot. There, it will uh, grow. And as you can see, these are some uh, a, a couple I did a couple of weeks back. Different varieties than these. I want these are new varieties. I wanted to try them. I put them in earlier uh, in order to sort of try and get some fruiting tomato, uh, tomato fruits a little earlier uh, than these. So 
Well, I hope uh, you found um, that instructive and that you'll really go and give it a try yourself. I'm Lawrence Ireland and this is another uh, short rough shoots video um, from VegetableGardenGuide.com that is www.VegetableGardenGuide.com Have a great growing season.